Hello YouTube, it's DJ Zolgage Trains. I had somebody contact me on my channel and ask me if I would be willing to custom paint their train for them, and uh, I said absolutely I would be. And uh, I finished an entire train set for them, plus I have another one here that I'm going to be starting to work on. And um, I'm going to show you that in just a minute, but I just wanted to make this uh, option available to everyone who watches my channel. If you'd like for me to custom paint your passenger car interiors, uh, kit bash or modify your trains or weather them, um, I would be happy to do that. Just contact me with the email in the uh, video description. So I'm going to leave an email for you uh, that you can contact me at your leisure. So I'm just going to go through some of the highlights on this little train that you see here and then I'm going to show you uh, what I've done for my customer and uh, I'll give you a quick pan of some of my other uh, engines that I've done here. So this is a Lina Legacy B6SB steam engine. It's appeared in several of my other videos uh, running, both weathered and not weathered. So, but here it is, and I went for a used look, but not, uh, not junkyard quality look. Uh, you don't see a lot of rust on it, but you do see that the engine needs a pretty good washing. So that's what I was going for here, and uh, I'll just show you some of the little highlights. We have a little oil leak here, so uh, the engine needs to go in for servicing to get that fixed. And uh, we also have here some ash. This charcoal gray color represents ash being blown down. And uh, over here, as we move toward the tender, you could see some rainwater runoff. And uh, you could see some more runoff on that slope back. And then you could also see so, some little rust highlights just from rain. Um, so came out really good. And then if we move here to this gondola, this is a very interesting car. It's a cement gondola. And these cars uh, actually had these holes drilled in the side of them so that the cement could be uh, emptied from these canisters uh, via a long uh, tube. So a long hose would be stuck in there to empty the cement. So, and you could see some of the runoff here from uh, the cement just getting everywhere, leaking all the cement powder. So um, that was actually very true in real life. I weathered this car from photographs and uh, they actually did look like this. And then we come here to this uh, hopper car and you could see a lot of the dust and the dirt along the wheels there and along the hopper bay doors toward the bottom and then we move up along the sides of the car and you see some cold dust mixed in with some of that dirt splash up and then you have a customized coal load that I put in the car myself. And then here we have the caboose. We have some ash on the roof of the caboose representing uh, it being in service during the steam era. We have some dirt splash up uh, over here on the bottom. And then we also have some uh, runoff from the chimney here uh, because it hasn't been cleaned in forever. And so those are the highlights I wanted to point out on that little train. Um, I will be doing a series of short videos as I weather more trains and uh, showing you my technique and my thoughts and some of the pictures I use to weather the models. And uh, if you like what you see, um, I would be happy to do this service for you. And here's some diesels. I'm just going to pan over them real quick. We start from uh, very weathered to not so weathered. So. We go from a South Brooklyn uh, junkyard engine to a Penn Central, which was, uh, Penn Central was always dirty. Moving on down to uh, some Long Island Railroad, uh, just some typical in-service weathering here. I'm sorry, I got a little shaky there. You can see that. New York and Atlantic. Uh, this is the least weathered of the diesels that you see because it represents a more modern time period and uh, The diesels of today are in a lot better shape than the diesels of yesterday just by general appearance, so uh, I Wanted to represent that with this engine. It just did some highlights And then we have a customized load inside this mill gondola a scrap load And then we come over here to a boxcar And then we have a subway set. I love subways, I grew up riding them. So here we have anti-graffiti white before and then after. So the anti-graffiti white cars became a canvas for graffiti artists and very shortly after the initial painting was done, they looked like this. So there you go. 
So now we come to my customer's uh, train. So, and, uh, and you can see here this dining car, this is my Amtrak diner. And after I made this video is when he contacted me to weather, his, uh, not weather, but to paint the interior of his train. So I'm gonna take you through and show you some of the highlights of his train and uh, show you what I've done. So here we have natural wood floors for the baggage area. And I just used some paintbrush techniques to get that effect. A metallic black bar, it's actually much more shiny in real life. Uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. Couch, and then we have some natural wood staining on the tables. in the parlor area and then we move on over here to the coach so most of the photos I found for this train set this is the Empire State Express by the way the Lionel Legacy Empire State Express set and most of the photos were in black and white but I did find a color photo of the interior of a coach so that's what I used to base the rest of the train on uh, this is my own color scheme that I've uh, picked and uh, it's based on the color of these coach seats, which is like a nutmeg kind of color. And then here we come to the diner. And the diner had this uh, really cool looking metallic uh, tables. The tables looked very metallic and they had this kind of uh, wood trim around them. So I tried to replicate that as best I could. And uh, of course it was a black and white photo. So the color scheme is my own choice. And then we have some plates that, that will be glued in place along with centerpieces and menus and figures. And then moving on down, we have the observation. Very similar color theme to the lounge car at the front. And here we have the bar in the observation and this is beautiful. I really like how this came out. So. I did a few different painting techniques plus uh, some gloss finish on it and it came out beautiful. I wish I had this in my Golden Gate Depot set. And then here's the solarium area. So this is only, uh, this is one of a couple of passenger sets that I'm going to be doing for uh, this guy. And uh, so I'm really excited to do it. And if you would like me to do your passenger trains or whether your models, please contact me with the email in the description of this video. This is the Lionel Broadway Limited set. And this is the next passenger set I'm going to be doing for him. I got six of these cars to do for him. And uh, I will do videos of them in progress and finished. And when both sets are done, I will put passenger figures in all of the cars and then send them back. So if you would like for me to customize your passenger trains or weather any of your trains at all, please contact me. And I hope to talk with you soon. Okay, that's it for now. This is DJ's Old Gates Trains. Take care. Have a good one.